Talking Points with Shabazz Davis. Covering all conversation from dating to sports fetishes, this is Talking Points with Shabazz Davis on World Improv Network. Yeah, yeah, America and the rest of the world. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you for tuning in to Talking Points with Shabazz Davis. I'm your host, Shabazz Davis. And you know what? We's going to get something straight to the point today. But a lot of people got like misnomers on what these peoples is all about. And it's kind of relevant right now with the, the new Star Wars movie that just came out. So I was able to have my crew track down two peoples that are entrenched in the Star Wars lifestyle. And that is some stormtroopers. These are some real, li- yeah, that's right. Look at that audience. We got some real life stormtroopers right here. That's pretty cool. My first stormtrooper guest, his name is Jedediah. Jedediah, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? Uh, it's my pleasure uh, to be here, she is. Yeah, Jedediah, you got that physique that does not match your voice. Oh, I'm, thank you. <laughs> I mean, you look like an absolute Adonis over there, but you sound like a little four-year-old girl. Okay, okay. All um, right, well, welcome I, to the I show. I accept that, Shabazz. Well, okay. I, I accept. Well, very good to have you, Jedediah. We're going we're gonna to bring one of your closest partners in crime, I should say, or should I say on the force, in okay. the Stormtrooper force, and that's your buddy Xerxes. Xerxes, welcome to the show. Hey, yo, audience, give Xerxes a break, man. Wow, what a warm welcome. Sorry about that, Xerxes. Yeah, that's right, audience. Oh, I understand, you know, Stormtroopers don't get, you know, we're, we got a reputation, but hey, we're people too. And that's exactly right. right. There's a man behind the suit. That's right. And that's what I want to get to right off the hop here. Okay. Everyone just sees you guys as two guy, two, two peoples in white suits with mm-hmm. some laser guns. Mm-hmm. But I can see the human face. I can see your four-year-old girl voice right now in front of me. I can see your calm stature, Xerxes, over there staring at me. I actually have a condition where uh, my face cannot show emotion. Oh, yeah? It's just uh, I'm stuck with those single expression on my face. Well, that, that's how we're created. Is that okay? So so y'all's created with no emotions then? Is that, well, is that, we, we were all created uh, in uh, each other's uh, same like. Okay. Right, so, Jerseys? Yeah. So you guys originally turned out to be just like clones, like identical twins. Yeah, I mean, we're oh, basically we one and the same person. But I mean, that's I mean that's only technically true. And visually. Yeah, I can see that. But but Xerxes, you got a different like voice and demeanor about you, even though you look exactly the same. Just as much of an Adonis over here mm-hmm. as Jedediah. Mm-hmm. Well, Jedediah and I have you know made it a point over the past few years to make ourselves stand out, to really uh, define ourselves, and to make our own identity. Like mm. I like go karts. Okay, you're not yeah. going to meet another stormtrooper that really likes go karts as much as I do. No, and he's good. Wow, he's good. I, That's pretty cool. I, can, I those pin hair turns, nails. Watch them. Okay, so how long you been riding them go karts, and what planet you likes to ride them on? I've been doing it for three years. I really like to do it in the Sigma system on a uh, planet uh, Kurt. Kurt. Okay. There's planet Kurt. Is it like all made out of asphalt or something? Is it perfect for go kart? And why? Why'd you pick that planet? Uh well, we were actually there on a mission. Uh, we mm-hmm. were looking for a droid who uh, had uh, information pertaining to uh, the location of rebel forces. And we're just doing a job. We're oh. just doing a job. And then you just fight, fell in love with go-kart. And well, did you, he did. He did. Jedediah, did you get a chance to take a little spin behind the wheel, or was that not your thing? Um, I was a little busy on mission. Okay. Um, He kind of split off. Okay. But that's fine, because uh, we're trying to be individuals. I, I noticed that. I mean, every Star Wars I done seen, y'all come running into battle together. Y'all come almost like the Civil War, just charging machine gun batteries in World War One and stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. you just keep yeah. running, whistle, next whistle, next man up, next row of people, mm-hmm. run ahead and attack. Mm-hmm. But you guys don't, you ain't got that demeanor. You got, you say you's going individual, but isn't your bosses getting a little bit mad that you ain't part of the clone system no more? Well, maybe uh, we're a little mad at our bosses. Oh. The Jedis aren't innocent. What, go explain what you mean by that, Jedi. Well, um, I mean, if um, I was taken from my family that I had built on Tatooine, yeah, uh, to go serve because I wasn't allowed to be an individual. Oh, 
Are you trying to say he's almost like an indentured servant for the Jedi? No, 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 not, not on air. <laughs> oh. uh, I can see that wink, though, Jedi. I ain't trying to throw you under the bus, but I can tell you got something really important that wants to tell me. Yeah, so, Jedi, share your truth. This is the time, all right? So you, you have you strong. Thanks. Um, it's been a hard, uh, a hard process. Uh, when he started go karting, I started to wonder what I liked, mm. and I started to feel I was an individual that is not something that can be controlled. Oh man, that's beautiful. E- even for your war plots, no wow. matter no matter your saber work. Well, you know, Jedi, I can feel with that. I can relate to that, gentlemen, because I used to be a pimp. And when I couldn't control my woman's no more, I had to give it up. And that's how I got a talk show. Oh, we appreciate that. Yeah. Because Jedis are pretty much pimps. They oh. are. They're pimps with clones. Intergalactic pimps, nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, we've seen gorgeous worlds, haven't we? Oh, absolutely. Uh, there's this one planet, Jane. Oh, um, Jane. It's in the same system as Kurt. And uh, it's a very tropical planet. I mean, the whole planet's tropical. Oh, the sounds, whole planet sounds gorgeous, beautiful. Gorgeous. It's got nice beaches and, and clear, crystal clear water on it. Oh man, there's an island for everybody. Oh man, I would love to go to such a planet. Um, I, I we would love to live there, but they had to take us away so we could yeah. go to another planet and but, uh, fight robots. We have oh. been looking at real estate, you know, for retirement. Well, that's a good question. Then, so are you saying you, just, you can retire? So no, how long is no, your? We didn't, we didn't say we could retire. I'm gonna. How long is your indentured servitude supposed to be for till you die? I mean, wink. Oh my God! So what's the Xerxes? I can see you got something up your sleeve. How are you and Jedediah gonna go retire on that planet? What 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 is your plan? Because obviously you're gonna have to break away from the mold and possibly risk your life to break free. Well, I'm gonna take up an alternate identity and uh mm-hmm. make a name for myself as a as a go-kart racer wow he's good that's beautiful yeah. and, and you the first two stormtroopers to break away from the clone lifestyle or or are there others out there i mean i you know i put my money that there are others out there but, but i we, mean we it shouldn't talk yeah you know we, i mean there's no group there's, there's no unity mm-mm there's no kind of like stormtroopers, you know, support group or network or nothing when you guys wants to talk about your troubles. Well, we're not allowed to talk about our troubles. Oh. Our bosses use fear tactics mm-hmm. to keep us in line. Mm-hmm. Okay. And mind control. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a killer. Mm-hmm. Well, well, go ahead, fellas. You can dump it on me. I was an ex pimp, so I had the women tell me all these bad things all the times that I was doing. So go ahead. Just let it all out. So, my, my boss. Um, he erased my memory of my wife. Oh, man. Did I didn't I know you were married. I, I didn't know until I was reading my file. Yeah, it is. that's beautiful. Okay. Did, I guess I have two kids. Oh, really? I guess. I guess. How old, are, how old is your kids? Uh, in the file, they are seven and nine. Oh. Bless their heart. Do you know where they're living at? No, Maybe I can get no, them. No, it's not in the file. Um, oh, man. We've talked a lot about this. You want a family. I mean, eventually, yeah. I mean, I... We'd like to be free. Yeah, I'm going to adopt. You know, I haven't found a, that special someone, you know, that's work, you know, mm-hmm. work, work dominates mm-hmm. our lives. Is there any kind of special woman you like or any kind of kids you'd want to adopt, Xerxes? Well, uh, one that's not a clone. Okay. Yeah. Maybe an Ewok or something? No, I'm not into that hairy stuff. No. But I mean, all, all people are welcome. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, of uh, the silver foxes, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. So you like them a little bit older then? The white falcon? The white falcon. Can I, can I, can I, um, can I just say something for our, our, our clone fellas? Yeah, go ahead. If uh, you see a clone on the corner with a sign, please help. Um, our bosses, the Jedi's, uh, don't don't help us much. Yeah, and any anything helps. Anything helps. That's good to know. 
Is there a number or something on email address you want to give out so if someone wants some more information, how to contact this new Stormtrooper group that I will help facilitate for y'all? Um, Clones Matter? Clonesmatter.com. Clones Matter, um, well, no, at, at Gmail. Okay, Clones Matter at Gmail. Yeah, we, we have a, uh, the domain name is still, you know, we're still figuring that out. Okay. It's, it's hard to buy um, because okay. we have to, uh, we can't necessarily spend money. Okay, well, thank y'all, gentlemen, for coming out. And I'm going to push that on all my episodes that clones matter, fellas, and that there's the Talking Points. Talking Points with Shabazz Davis. Give the Windcast your questions on Facebook, Twitter, or the Mile High Sports Radio studio line during the break of what issues the Wind counselors can help you with during Good, Bad, Ugly. Next on Mile High Sports Radio.